Farmers have made great strides over the years in their efforts to take better care of the environment. However, skepticism on the part of the public and the government about how good a job agriculture is doing with this seems to persist. That's where a new program spearheaded by Mississippi State University and known by the acronym REACH comes in. It is providing farmers with increased expertise and accountability when it comes to all issues involving conservation and wildlife habitat. The early participants are very excited about MSU reaching out to help them change perceptions about agriculture. This story first aired in December. The conservation of water resources used in connection with agriculture is becoming more important in Mississippi, especially in the Delta. That's one reason why Belzona farmer Jeremy Jack is working with MSU assistant professor Robbie Kroger through a program known by the acronym REACH, Research and Education to Advance Conservation and Habitat. The program focuses on developing and improving conservation practices that work for agriculture and are environmentally sustainable. Jeremy enrolled this 750-acre portion of the Silent Shade Plantation in the REACH program. The presence of the dirt pan and tractor at the farm headquarters indicates the type of strategies REACH is recommending to improve the property's sustainability. Yes, moving dirt into uh, resh uh, reshaping the fields, reshaping uh, ditches to where water flows into a reservoir type system to where we can harvest the water and reuse it again. Therefore, we are not pumping out of using very little groundwater and all surface water and all rainwater collecting that water during the off season, collecting that water that's run off during the season, so therefore water will never be uh, 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 wasted in any form at, at all. The property features several catfish ponds like this that are no longer used in aquaculture production. The ponds figure prominently in the recommendations being implemented through the REACH program. But once we get finished with this property, those catfish ponds will be brought together, levees knocked down, and a large storage reservoir will be behind me. Um, we're going to have several of these storage reservoirs on this property such that you can capture the water from a rainfall event move that water with a relift station into these storage reservoirs and then use it to irrigate his rice and his soybeans or whatever he's growing for that year. Besides the emphasis on reusing surface water, the strategies of the REACH program also focus on controlling surface drainage on Mississippi farmland. Among the techniques being put into place on farms to accomplish this are low-grade weirs or small dams like this one in Sunflower County near Indianola that slow down runoff water. The design of this concrete structure was funded through the Mississippi Alabama Sea Grant. Robbie Kroger says a weir like this can improve the quality of the water before it goes downstream, thereby improving the condition of other streams and lakes and even the Gulf of Mexico. When you slow down water, obviously the sediment falls out. You get interactions of that sediment with the water column. You get interactions with the water and the vegetation. And all of that is nutrients. All the nutrients are getting pulled from it. The sediment's being pulled from it. And so the water that's leaving the system is much cleaner than when it arrived. So just with this little structure, we now have a significant water quality improvement to water that's coming off the ag system. The REACH program is a collaboration between Mississippi State University's Extension Service, the Experiment Station, and Forest and Wildlife Research Center. In the Delta, REACH is partnering with Delta Farm, an acronym for Farmers Advocating Resource Management. While the REACH program's central focus is water resource conservation, farmers' other concerns, such as wildlife habitat, are also incorporated. That's how tunica producer Mike Boyd first got interested in the REACH program and what Robbie Kroger had to say. We, uh, we love to hunt and we have uh, a guide service and you know it all goes hand in hand. We're trying to develop a waterfowl uh, potential over here and, and I think we're on the right road to doing that. On the Boyd operation, about 25 acres spread out over four different fields are designated for waterfowl. At the time of our visit in June 2012, Rice had just been planted for waterfowl in this field following some landforming. The emphasis on conservation is nothing new on this operation. Mike Boyd had installed a tailwater recovery system on the farm about two years prior to his enrollment in the REACH program. This system allows him to capture and reuse irrigation water. The beauty about this property is actually they marry surface water capture with waterfowl hunting. And so they've got the, the beauty between the two and they've set their system up such that 
they can move water from their tailwater recovery system that you see behind me to their farm reservoir back into the tailwater recovery obviously irrigate their crops with that but that water could also move into the slough in the winter to flood out for for duck hunting and if need be that water can move from the slough back into the tailwater recovery and irrigate crops with so it's a beautiful marriage between you know hunting waterfowl hunting as well as production agriculture we've got this tremendous slough that runs it's probably three quarters of a mile long it runs right adjacent to this and we've got that round break right there cypress and all that it's it's, uh, it's got it all for Mike Boyd's son, Lamar, who's made his fifth crop now, the excitement about the REACH program goes beyond the professional expertise he and his father now have access to. The REACH program will provide them scientifically defensible data about their conservation efforts. Lamar sees that as a big benefit. Was we would be able to monitor our water usage, see how good of a job we were doing with, with cost savings, but also with managing our resources and uh, at the same time we're able to maybe look and see what we're keeping on site what we're losing as far as water and nutrients back in belzona at silent shade plantation farmer jeremy jack also likes the accountability aspect of the reach program he will have data that proves the effectiveness of what they are doing and have a property that will illustrate to visitors the benefits of practicing conservation we can educate the public with raw numbers and raw facts and really change the image that agriculture has. And the other thing we also can do is we can have this spot for people to come see and uh, look at and really get feet on the ground to understand what's going on. But, uh, and then have a spot for researchers to come and try new best management practices and uh, work this through. The, the beauty about the REACH program is it's the agenda is the farmers. It's addressing a resource need of a farmer. So the farmer comes to us and said, man, I'd love to be a part of the program. What could you do for us? And my answer typically is, well, what do you need us to do for you? And we've got phenomenal expertise all the way through campus. Producers from all regions of the state and all commodity groups are enrolling portions of their property in the REACH program. The end result will be a network of cooperative farms illustrating profitable and sustainable production practices that conserve natural resources. I'm Leighton Spann reporting. Go to our Farm Week website if you would like to see this story again on the REACH program. That website is farmweek.msucares.com. You can also find us on Facebook and YouTube, and we'll have all the links and telephone numbers that you can uh, use to get involved and get in touch with Robbie Kroger if you're interested in REACH. We'll have all of that contact information again at farmweek.msucares.com. And Amy, Robbie Kroger says that there are now over 30 farms and over 100,000 acres enrolled in this stakeholder-driven program, a program again for all commodity groups, not just row crops.